I got my first computer when I was six years old. I was really young. Sixth grade, somebody showed me two lines of basic and I fell in love with this idea. My thing is music. I want to build the ultimate interactive music system. I'm actually trained as a oil painter and traditional artist. My parents are both circus artists. Unity, it's the sum of all these parts. First time I heard of Unity, a company with a vision, it was technology guided by that vision that actually worked and delivered on its promise. And I thought, I need to be part of that. And I pretty quickly got the democratization and the openness and I saw it as the future. To make creation accessible, the first thing you need to think about is removing roadblocks. The space was um, not approachable and unaffordable. Oh, I have to write a rendering engine. Oh, I have to write an animation system. Oh, I have to figure these things out. Oh, there's a lot of math. We've taken care of all of that. Solving hard problems, I feel like, is kind of the, the engine that makes it all go. If you have to worry about nothing else than what you're actually focusing on, what you're actually passionate about, then there is no way you are not going to succeed. Not just provide them with the very sophisticated piece of uh, software, but also provide the support that is required to you know, sustain in that uh, industry. Unity believes that everyone has the right to create. Whether it's indies, AAA companies. You don't want a barrier between you and exploration. A couple of kids in Cambodia could use software like Unity to produce the number one mobile game for, for many years. So you see Unity being used everywhere. A lot of people are coming and seeing us and say thank you. People can quit their day jobs and focus on what they are truly passionate about. Our tool enables them to do that. I've never seen that anywhere else. I've been working at Microsoft, Amazon, Uber. Unity is a different place. Yeah. Coming from Indonesia. A city called Zongoldak. Maryville, Tennessee. Plymouth in England. Copenhagen, Denmark. Roseville, California. Granozavodsk, Russia. A Montreal, uh, or Canada. With technology, it democratizes the world in a way. I'm an enabler. <laughs> but in the best possible sense, in that I want to enable people to make the things that they dream about. Creators are the pace setters, the dreamers, those with an imagination. And we are here to support them because we think the world's a fundamentally better place with more creators in it. Please welcome Unity's CEO, John Riccatello. So, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Unity's keynote for GDC 2018. Now, at Unity, we think a lot about how we can best serve our developers. And that's because you, the developer, are doing all the creating. You're doing all the innovating, and you're the one driving the industry we love so much as a whole. Now, at Unity, I think you know, we talk a lot about our principles, but we try to stay focused on these particular ideas, and you can see them up here on the screen behind me. Democratization, solving hard problems, and enabling success. But there's a, a philosophy that lives behind these. And the first point, is we do fundamentally believe the world is a better place with more creators in it. Now, we love consumers, we love gamers, and you know, there's three billion of them out there, that's fantastic. But our heart beats to the rhythm of the developer. We're really on their side. And we know how hard it is to be a developer. The investment in time, ingenuity, and craft that goes into making a great game. And we know the odds are stacked against the developer. Um, it's hard to create a great game. There's huge competition. And the platform companies don't make it easy. They don't make it easy for discovery, for distribution, any of it. And we think our place in the world is to stand with and for developers. Think of us as an 800-person technology team, engine development team. It's your engine development team that's here to make sure that you can get to each platform quickly, easily, with leading edge technology. We're a business team that's here to enable your better revenue and your better outcomes. So you can focus on the content, on the game mechanics, and the player experience. Now, 
we're not focused at Unity on making games. We're here to solve the hard problems so you can make the games. We sit at the center of an ecosystem. And as I said, we're proud to stand with you and for you in the world that we all want to see come together. So I want to bring it back to you now, the developer, and show a little bit of the amazing impact you've had in 2017. Why don't we roll the video? OK, now. Think about this, 69% of the games and products built in the world were built by you, the Unity developer. 74% of everything made for HTC Vive, 87% of everything for gear, and 91% of everything for the HoloLens. That's absolutely unbelievable. And perhaps the most unbelievable of all is that half more than half, actually, of all the mobile games built in the world were built by you, the Unity developer. I mean, that's freaking amazing. Now, <laughs> now, we live at a time when there's all sorts of theories about what creates employment. And my answer is, it's you. And here's a really interesting slide. It's some data that I, I hadn't expected and wasn't really looking for. But this is LinkedIn. All the job search all over the world. They rank each of the jobs in terms of what is the most prevalent and the second most common search and the third most common search, what people are looking for. And of course, there's a lot of tech jobs. We're in the middle of a technology revolution of biblical proportions. But look at it. I mean, you'd expect it. I mean, machine learning engineering is hot, and data scientists are hot, sales development you know, folks are hot. But what do you notice about position number seven? It's the only entry in the top 10 that has a company's name associated with it. The others are broad descriptions. This is a very specific description. And it shows that you, the Unity developer, are hiring like crazy. And it shows the Unity developer actually probably the best solve for the world's economic woes of anything that's out there. So with that grand thought that you're solving the world's economic woes, I'd like to shift gears for a moment and turn to what we'd like to talk to you about tonight. Now, you're going to hear from all, most of the people you saw in that video, but you're going to hear from the best and brightest at Unity. You'll hear from Brett and Isabel, um, you know, what's going on in 2018. Brett's going to take you through our roadmap, the key products coming out in 18 through the balance of the year. And Isabel's going to share what the dreamers and creators are doing with Unity, what they've been up to and what's coming out. Now, they're going to be followed by Danny Lang. Danny's going to talk about machine learning and AI and how AI can be trained not only to monetize your games better, but make them play better and more tailored around an individual gamer's experience. Yes, you can use AI for that. Natalia, Lucas, Mike, and Adam are going to demonstrate the next level rendering and what we're doing with a scriptural rendered pipeline to allow you to make achingly beautiful products. And finally, Joachim and Ralph are going to share the future of Unity, the incredible impact on performance and scale made possible with the entity component system and some small runtimes that are going to change everything in the way consumers launch, how they're built, and how they're consumed by consumers around the world. All of these are the next steps allowing you to use the most performant engine to make the best games possible. All you need now is to understand a little bit more on what can be possible. And with that, we'll show you a video to give you a better sense of what that is. Thank you.
please welcome the head of Made with Unity, Isabel Riva. We are so impressed by the talent and ingenuity of the community. The art styles are so versatile. There's hand-drawn games like Cuphead and super realistic games like GTFO. And we aren't the only ones noticing this creativity. Brands are impressed. They're coming to us asking to build bridges with the indie community. And we love making that connection for them. In fact, we have in that vein an announcement to make today. It's a challenge put together by Universal, Microsoft, Intel, and Unity, inviting you to design a PC game based on an iconic brand. And get this, you can pick from Back to the Future, Turok, Battlestar Galactica, Voltron, Legendary Defender, or my personal favorite, Jaws. You stand to win. $250,000 worth of cash prizes and a contract with Universal Studios. We're calling it the Universal Game Dev Challenge. <laughs> the work will be judged by these industry veterans. Bob Gale, co-creator of Back to the Future. Kate Edwards, former executive director of the IGDA. Dean Takahashi, lead writer for Gamesbeat, and Lauren Montgomery, co-executive producer of DreamWorks TV and showrunner of Voltron. So starting today, you have exactly one month to submit your winning game idea in the form of a design doc to Unity Connect. So track down some teammates and get started. If that wasn't enough of an opportunity for you, there's one more. This one's coming direct from a veteran game maker who is building his next game in Unity. I'm Will Wright, game designer, responsible for many games you might be familiar with, including SimCity, The Sims, and Spore. The new game I'm working on is called Proxy, a game of self-discovery where we actually uncover memories from your past. To do this, we've partnered with Unity to announce a contest to find an artist that can help us bring this to life, to manifest these memories in a cool and unique way. You can enter this contest at Unity Connect, and to that artist, and I know you're out there, I look forward to meeting you. <laughs> 